Shepard. Is there something wrong? Yes. Now that you are here, though, it seems more difficult to talk about. Are you feeling sick? I could get the doctor. No, no. Though I suppose that is a part of it. My mortality has me dwelling on things. I had a family once. I still have a son. His name is Kolyat. I haven't seen him for a very long time. How long has it been since you talked? Ten years. He showed me some of his schoolwork and asked if we could dance crazy. We did that when he was younger. What sort of dance is that? It's... I checked my extranet contacts. I expect an update on my next target. The console plays music. Oh, unfashionable. Kolyat jumps into the room. I fall. Runs around in circles. I scoop him up, toss him into the air. He shrieks, laughs, spin me. The console beeps. I put him down. Click the message. Father, he pleads. He tucks my sleeve. I need to read this, I say. I don't look at him. Did something happen to them? I abandoned them. Oh, not all at once. Nothing dramatic, no sneaking out in the middle of the night, no final argument or slammed door. I just did my job. I hunted and killed across the galaxy. Away on business, my wife would tell people. I was always away on business. You never mentioned this before. Why now? When my wife departed from her body, I attended to that issue. I left Kolyat in the care of his aunts and uncles. I have not seen him or talked to him since. That's not the choice I expected. Why didn't you raise him yourself? My body is blessed with the skills to take life. The Hanar honed them in me. I have few others. I didn't want that life for Kolyat. I hoped he would find his own way. If he hated me, so be it. He would not have shared the path of sin. I used my contacts to trace Kolyat. He has become... disconnected. He does what his body wills. You'll have to explain that one to me. Disconnected. The body is not our true self, the soul is. Body and soul work as one in a whole person. When the soul is weakened by despair or fear, when the body is ill or injured, the individual is disconnected, no longer whole. What's wrong with him? Is he hurt? Something happened that should not have. He knows where I've been, what I've done. I don't know his reasons, but he has gone to the Citadel. He's taken a job as a hitman. I would like your help to stop him. He is... This is not a path he should walk. You don't hire a raw rookie for a contract killing. I'm afraid someone may have seen we share a name, and assumed we share skills. I don't know why he would accept the task. To be closer to you, maybe? That thought haunts me more than any other. Maybe he name-dropped you to get hired. It's possible, but I don't think so. It doesn't seem right. My name. He should not respect it. Thane, I don't have your contacts and I don't have your tracking skills. Why do you need my help for this? I don't need your help. I want it. The last time I saw my son, they grabbed her body in sea lines. Weighted it with stones. He tries to pull from me. Calls for her. The hammer lift her off the platform. They sing like bells. The fire has gone to be kindled in you. He begs them not to take her away. They let her body slide into the water. He hits me. Don't let them. Stop them. Why weren't you? It rains. It always rains on Kaji. Warm water pours down his face. I didn't mean to make you relive that. Perfect memory. It is sometimes a burden. What made him go to the Citadel? Years ago, I prepared a package for him. A relic of my ill-spent life. I had Volus bankers store it and arranged for delivery when I died. He acquired it early. I don't really know how. I did wet work on the Citadel around the time his mother died. That may be why he went there. I'll get us to the Citadel as soon as possible. Thank you, Shepard. I'll be meditating until you need me. I want to know when the next shuttle will get here. There's one every ten minutes. I don't want to wait that long. I can't make the shuttles go... You'd think Citadel security would be the tightest in the galaxy. 
I see no fewer than 14 fatal flaws a skilled assassin could exploit. Eight of them existed when I was here ten years ago. Yes? My associate is trying to find his son. We think a local criminal may have hired him. That should be easy. We don't see many drill here. There we go. One of my men reported to Drell recently. And he was talking to Mouse. Interesting. Mouse? Ah, petty criminal. Probably not the guy who hired your boy, but a messenger. He's a former duct rat. Runs errands for anyone who'll pay. What sort of trouble has Mouse been getting himself into? Odd jobs for shifty people. Duct rats take whatever is available to get by. Data running, fencing stolen goods, selling illegal VI personalities. Actually, he was selling one of you. Me? Yeah, when you erased a file, it would say, I delete data like you on the way to real errors. Buggy, though. It crashed every half hour. The error message was about how the galaxy was at stake, and you should fix the problem yourself. What was it you called, Mounts? The duct rat. It's a local slang for the poor kids who grow up in the station. When they're small, they tend to play in the ventilation ducts where adults can't get to them. Aren't the ducts dangerous? Every couple of months, we pull a little body out of them. Lacerated by fan blades, broken by a deadfall, suffocated by vacuum exposure. Those are just the ones we know about. More just disappear. Maybe they get sucked into space. Maybe they fall into the protein vats the keepers run. The mouse survived long enough that he can't fit in the ducts anymore. He was one of the smarter ones, or the luckier ones. I've heard enough. Mouse is usually upstairs outside the Dark Star. He works out of a public comm terminal. You should pick up a copy of the Shepherd VI when you talk to him. It sounds like your boy's running with the wrong crowd. Yes, I agree. If Mouse can't get you in touch with your son directly, he'll know who can. I'll help you if you need it. We better hurry then. You didn't tell him that Kolyat plans to assassinate someone. He's a cop. He tried to stop Kolyat and one of them could end up dead. I don't want that. Yes, of course. Thank you, Shepard. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. I want to go home and eat it. I thought you were going to stand here admiring it all day. Those Asari Hanar porn games they sell in Shinakiba are really nasty. Yeah, yeah, I can get that. No problem. Well, okay, that might be more difficult. No, that's fine. I got some quarry. Yeah, sure. I can get you two cases by the end of the day. You mouse? What are you? Oh, shit. Krios. I thought you retired. Commander Shepard? I, I thought you died. What do you want with me? Be still, mouse. You can change your pants in a moment. How do you know Thane? Krios? He didn't... If he didn't say nothing, I ain't either. When we heard the name, I didn't think it could be the same mouse. He was a contact on the Citadel when I was active. He and some other children would gather information on my targets. You put children in danger to spy for you? Children, the poor. My people's word for their kind is Dralafa, the ignored. They're everywhere, see everything. Yet they are never seen. You gave another Drell instructions for an assassination. Who's the target? I, I don't know. I, I didn't ask. Because the people I work for, they can make me disappear. I'd like to help you, Krios. You always done right by us, but I ain't gonna die for you. Look, you know Thane. He wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. Do it for him. I want to. He was always nice to us. But these people ain't nice, Krios. Nobody's gonna know you talk to us. Mouse, I swear that you won't be named. All right, all right. He came with that hollow you took of me. He said he wanted a job. I ran through your old contacts to see who might give him a shot. The guy who offered was Elias Kellum. Tell me about Kellum. Human. Moved to the Citadel about ten years ago. He was little people when you were here, Krios. 
It got big after the Geth attack. Lots of the big guys from before got cacked, all in them big fancy apartments up on the Presidium. Now he runs the rackets on the lower end of the ward. Shin Akiba. He's seriously bad news. You did good, Mouse. Yeah. Hope I live long enough to pat myself on the back. Kellum will never know. I hope not. I'm out of here, Krios. Next time you're in town, just don't bring the family. That couldn't have been easy. Mouse knew more about my life than Kolyat ever did. He smiles up at me, broken teeth and scabby knees. Bare feet black. A dead-end future looking up at me, worshipping the petty gifts I offer. I was the only good thing he had back then. But I left him, as I left Kolyat. Mouse said you had a hollow of him. Yes. A foolish bit of sentimentality. I can perfectly recall every moment I spent with Mouse. He pulls at my arm. Smiles. He wants to know that I remember him. That anyone will remember him. I take the hollow. He smiles at himself in miniature on my palm. Then a frown crinkles his brow. He pats my pockets, checking for other hollows. Where's your son, Krios, he asks. Don't blame yourself. If I don't, who will? We must carry the weight of our decisions, Shepard. You, of all people, know this. Let's head back to Bailey. Yes? Can we talk about my associate's son? You talked to Mouse? Did you get the name of the guy he's working with? Elias Kellum. Kellum? Shit. Uh, look, this is awkward. Kellum and I have a, an agreement. He doesn't cause too much trouble and buys tickets to the C-Sec charity ball from me. In return, I ignore him. He pays you off. You were eager to help us before. What about now? Is it too inconvenient? I said I'd help. It's just there'll be repercussions if I don't handle it right. He and I give each other space. It keeps the peace. I'll get some of my people to bring him in and set him up in a private room. You can interrogate him yourself. I'll stay out of sight. And if I'm lucky, Kellum will believe that I had nothing to do with it. Bring him in. We might not have much time. I'll make it happen. Wait here. We've got Kellum. Tell Bailey we're ready. He'll expect me to get him out of this. Not today, I think. Captain, his lawyer's here. Ben Elias has his VI set to page him if c -Sec gets within 10 meters. I'll stall him. Get in there and work fast. We should question him together. Keep the pressure on. Thoughts on how we approach it? You talk to him. Appeal to his self-interest. I'll put the screws to him if he needs it. Very well. I'll pretend to be on his side. But if we waste too much time negotiating, Bailey won't be able to stall Kellum's advocate. Get me out of these restraints, Bailey. Pretty funny bringing me down here like this. The hell are you two? Bailey has nothing to do with this. We just want a few answers. Off the record. Off the record in a C-Sec interrogation room? Sure. You hired an assassin. Who do you want dead? I want to see my advocate. Your advocate hasn't arrived. We're trying to find him. I'm not saying a damn word until he's here. You two are in way over your heads. Bailey won't let you touch me. 
Pay attention, Mr. Kellum. That wasn't a good idea, kid. That is gonna cost you. Control your temper. We want him to talk. Sorry. My associate gets a little... excited during interrogations. Hit me again, asshole. Every bunch is worth for me. No! Do you know what I'll do to you when I get out of here? Keep it up, tough guy. You'll leave in a bag. Go to hell. He's up. He's no use to us dead. Are we done here? Because I got people to see. I'm done being ah! patient. Give me a name or I'll cut your balls off and sell them to a Krogan. Joram! Joram Talit. Dorian in the 800 blocks. He's unconscious. No need to wake him up, I think. He'll wake up with a headache. No permanent damage. We have Kolyat's target. Let's get to Talit before he does. Agreed. What's the story? Why'd Kellum hire the boy? Assassination. A Turian named Joram Talid. You know him? Joram? Yeah. You might have seen his posters around. He's promising to end organized crime on the ward. Thing is, his message is all mixed up in race politics. He's anti-human. Are things so bad that people can openly campaign as anti-human? You haven't heard what the aliens have been saying? They think the Council died because our fleet refused to save them. That we stacked the new council with humans and yes-men. Udina doesn't take any crap from them, but that seems to make it worse. They act like we're jackbooted thugs enforcing a coup. If a majority votes for him, like it or not, that's how the system works. That's a nice ideal, Shepard. Sergeant, get a patrol car. These two need to get to the 800 blocks. Yes, sir. Wonderful talking with you all. I hope you'll come out on a... I'm on him, Thane. He's talking to some voters. Understood. You're in position? Yes. It's been wonderful talking with you all. I hope you'll come out on election day. Looks like he's talking to another voter. Any sign of call yet? No. I'm moving to another position. Ahead of him. It's been wonderful talking with you all. I hope you'll come out on election day.
One of his guards is talking to the bartender. Looks like a shakedown. I pay you for. I got that. He's meeting a couple of mercenaries. Looks like the same group his bodyguard comes from. He looks nervous. Could be he's noticed you. Maybe he saw Kolyad in here somewhere. Also a possibility. There are obstructions ahead. I'll try to go around. Don't lose him. You're running for office. Lots of people watch you. Yes, sir. Got him. I need you to stay close or we'll lose him. Stay with him. Don't let him get away. I'm losing him. Stay close. Stay with him. Don't lose his position. We're losing him. Do whatever you want. C-Sec. Put the gun down, son. Get out of my way. I'm walking out. He's coming with me. They'll have snipers outside. I don't need your help. What the hell? Delete. Get the hell out of here. Yeah, yeah, I will. Take the boy into custody. You son of a bitch! Your father doesn't have much time left, Colyet. He's trying to make up for his mistakes. What? So you came to get my forgiveness? So you can die in peace or something? I came to grant you peace. You're angry because I wasn't there when your mother died. You weren't there when she was alive. Why should you be there when she died? Your mother. They killed her to get to me. It was my fault. What? After her body was given to the Deep, I went to find them. The Trigger Men. The Ringleaders. I hurt them. Eventually killed them. When I went back to see you, you were... older. I should have stayed with you. I guess it's too bad for me you waited so long, huh? Kolyat, I've taken many bad things out of the world. You're the only good thing I ever added to it. This isn't a conversation you should have in front of strangers. Boys, take Kolyat and his father back to the precinct. Give them a room and as much time as they need. I'm surprised you're letting him do that. You think he's the only man who ever screwed up raising a son? I have to get back to the precinct. Come on, I'll give you a lift. They've been in there a while. Yeah, the kid's been through a lot. I ran some searches in the CSAC archive. About ten years back, a bunch of real bad people were killed. Like someone was cleaning house. The prime suspect was a drill. We never caught him. Ten years is a long time. 
Whoever was responsible for that probably doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, I guess you're right about that. How'd it go? Our problems are... They aren't something I can fix with a few words. We'll keep talking, see what happens. Your boy shot some people. No one I feel sympathy for, but there it is. I watched those guys shaking down businesses and threatening humans. But he can't just get away with it. The kid wants to make a difference. Give him community service. Community service for attempted murder? What jury would agree to that? None that I've seen. This would need to stay out of the judiciary. Strictly within CSEC. Interesting. I'll think about it. Thank you, Captain. 